everyone. Today I thought I would show you how I organize my uh, DVDs. Um, I used to have a bunch of these, I guess maybe about 250 movies on um, five shelves. And if you think about it, this is like maybe a half an inch. And after you get a few of them in there, I mean it takes up a lot of space. And I had moved into a one bedroom apartment and did not have the space to store all those anymore like that. And honestly, I don't need the pictures. The only thing I need is the disc. Um, if you get one of those discs that um, they're kind of blank, that they only have the title, say, around here. The side that doesn't have the, um, the movie itself, just use a um, black mar uh, permanent marker and put the name of the movie. I mean... It's just as easy as that. And if it's like both sides where one side's um, full screen and one's um, widescreen, then, you know, that is a little bit um, bothersome. But you pretty much know what the movie is because most of them have pictures or something on it. So, and then these tight, I tried filing with those in a bin, you know, these um, paper white sleeves. But they would wind up somehow getting lost. I mean... When the movie's into the um, the DVD player, and then, you know, there's moving around going on, shuffling around, the, the sleeve gets lost, uh, the movie doesn't get put back right away, it's out, of, out, you know, it's not in alphabetical order anymore, it, it just really bothers me when things are not alphabetical order, I know some people it doesn't bother, but it does me, so I had to lose that system also. And I tried that system for about six months, and it didn't help. So what I did is I went to Walmart, and I got these during uh, school time sales for $1.50 for a two-inch uh, notebook. I got three of them. And I went to the website caselogic.com and bought uh, sleeves for it. And I'll put a link with, of that um, down below. So what I did is I put all my movies in alphabetical order, and it seems to work. And say you have um, like a movie that belongs here. See, once a month, any movies that I buy, I, I have them in a stack by the TV, and then once a month I go in there and put them in alphabetical order, so that way it doesn't take a whole lot of time, maybe 20 minutes. But if something belongs here, then what I would do is get a new... Um, sleeve put in there um, if I didn't have space you know to move some of these over but I would put a new sleeve in and then open up a couple of spaces in between you know the movies that way if I, any more that I bought then I would have um, space there and wouldn't take much time at all um, actually these go in pretty easy so you know it's it's not that hard even the children can get in there because what we do is my grandchildren come over, um, they find the movie they want, they um, open it up, take the movie out, put it in the DVD player, and then we leave this open during the movie. So that way when they're done and they want to watch another movie, this is already open. They slide the DVD in, they close it, and they'll get another notebook to uh, find another movie. So this has worked really well in my home. And these here, do not throw away, because I'm going to tell you, if you save them, say you got a large library, and you decide to do this, save them, get them all in a box, put them on Craigslist, and I'm sure there is a dealer out there that buys tons of movies in the white sleeves like this, and since most of us want, well, since most people want the uh, CD case, they have a place for the artwork and the CD to sell on eBay. So, yes, don't throw them away because they are resellable. You ain't going to get a whole lot for it. But you know what? It's recycling. Keep it out of the landfill. Just resell it. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to say. I don't think so. The only th other thing I did with this is, like I said, I got three notebooks. And this is L through P. So, you know, like I said, we have three of them, and they work, and I still got a lot of room to grow. As you see, you know, there's empty spots here and there. So, 
you know, I can at least get another, I think with all the ones I have extra, maybe 150 more movies. And I don't have to keep buying the um, ones you buy in the store for $18.99 that holds about 100 movies. You know, yeah, maybe in the um, first part I bought two packages of these and it will cost me $50. But I don't have to buy these again for a very, very long time. And they hold up. They don't tear very easy. Some of the ones in the store, I had ones for um, CDs, and they kept tearing up on me. So I, I really enjoy the Case Logic brand. Um, it's held up for five years. So, you know, I don't intend to change anytime soon. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Please like and subscribe. And I really don't know where my channel is headed right now. I'm still, like, you know, trying to f figure out where my niche is in the YouTube world, what I'm really good at. And sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm spastic sometimes. I'm, I'm just all over the place. So I want to kind of figure out where I'm at. So please bear with me. Keep continuing to watch my videos. Give me cr uh, constructive criticism. If you see anything that, you know, possibly I could change, I do take uh, advice very well. Because, like I said, I'm just starting this. So, you guys all have a good evening. And I'll see you next time. Good night.